Howdy folks, my name is Terry, and welcome to my channel if you haven't been here before. We're gonna do a repaint of the T-70, uh, inspired by Poe Dameron's uh, X-Wing from The Force Awakens. I just saw the movie, I'm really excited about it. And we're gonna do this in as few as four paints and five steps. Now, I'm gonna throw it out real quick. Please leave the comments spoiler free for the courtesy of everyone who is going to watch this video. Now, moving forward, I'm gonna just start with a primer coat of black. You can spray this on. I'm just using a basic black paint um, and I'm just brushing it on. Because the model is already pre-painted, it's really easy. The, the paint adheres well to the model, um, but you do want to thin your paint down. It, you don't want to put gloppy, heavy amounts of paint on. This is especially true if you're not using miniature paint, uh, which is high pigmentation and generally a very uh, thin kind of consistency, fresh out of the bottle. Uh, if you do have like a craft paint, you really want to thin that down and make sure you do many layers to get that one uh, solid color uh, as the base instead of doing one single thick layer where you could be obscuring the details of the model. Next, we're going to dry brush. Now, dry brushing is the technique where you take a brush, you load it up with paint straight from the bottle, not watered down, and you wipe like 95% of it off on a paper towel. You pretty much brush it off until almost no paint is coming off the, the brush. The brush is then loaded, and you can then take that brush and drag it across the model and it will pick up on any raised detail. It adds a lot of dimension, uh, also gives a slight weathering effect. I really like this uh, method for doing things that have a somewhat weathered look and it's really easy to do. Uh, we're gonna do two colors first. We're gonna use a darker gray, um, which is closer to like 30% uh, white, 70% black, and then a lighter gray layer on top of that, which will then be the, the reverse. So it's gonna be 30% black and about 70% white. Um, if you're mixing them yourself, if you've got like some tones of gray in your uh, paint selection and you can pick those up, it works easier as well, but don't feel compelled to have to buy new paint to make this work. Just in case you're wondering, all the paint colors will be listed in the description below, the ones that I'm using, but I'll make sure that there are options available for you as well as some of the paints I'm using are discontinued in some ranges. After those layers of dry brushing have been applied, we're going to put a wash on. Now, a wash is simply a very thinly diluted um, pigment, so it, it's very thin and runny, and it will soak into the cracks and crevices of the model. Now, we want to let this wash dry. It's really important before we move forward that the wash is completely dry. Give it a good while to, to to set up and, and be dry, um, especially when it's pooling in cracks and crevices, it could very easily um, feel dry on the flatter uh, plain surfaces, but, but not in those cracks and crevices. Now, the next step we're going to do is we're now going to apply the orange. I have yet to find a great X-Wing orange that goes on beautifully in one coat. Um, so you really have to kind of layer this color up. Again, thin it to the consistency of approximately, you know, milk. You're looking at 2% milk maybe. Um, depending on the pigmentation of your, your paint, you may have to do multiple coats. Um, and, and just paint it on the wings um, and on the, uh, the undersides too. A quick hint if you want to practice um, doing the, the wings is to do them on the underside first. It gives you a feel for what the shape will be and how the paint is flowing, as well as gives you a good sense of um, how much coverage you're getting. And then you can, once you've got a good sense of that down, paint the top side, which you're going to see like 99% of the time. The bottom is a great place to practice the techniques um, when you're starting on a miniature and then move those, those perfected techniques to the top side. So with the orange applied to the wings, we can actually put the stripe down the side of the ship. Now, it's easier to paint the orange on the wings because it's kind of sculpted on. Um, this stripe uh, that goes down the side of the ship as well as over the front isn't sculpted on. So essentially you're doing some freehanding. This is really challenging, um, especially if you have unsteady hands. So if you're uh, learning how to paint or you haven't really developed the steadiness in your hands to do a single stripe line, don't. Um, I like to take small strokes. It's a, a really easy technique. It's way easier to do a single straight line in small short strokes. You could even do dots across the side and just connect them um, as opposed to trying to do it in one 
fell swoop and you'll get a better result. Remember with most orange paints, you're gonna have to do multiple layers of this. So, you know, take your time, go slow and, and take those short strokes to kind of make sure that you're always on point. And even if you mess up a little bit, there's easy ways to correct for that. I'm gonna show you a quick way to correct the the paint if it goes outside where you're wanting it to end up, especially on this model. Um, use the base color that uh, that you use to kind of dry brush, that darker dry brush gray to clean up and essentially clean up the lines on the wings or on the stripe if you find that they've gone a little bit astray. It's a really easy way to kind of have a, a control Z or an undo um, on some of that paint and it blends seamlessly, especially when you're looking at the model from tabletop. I also have a technique for um, creating essentially a paint eraser. Um, you can check out the video of it here. It's really easy. It's really basic. But the key to being able to do this is to work quickly and water your paints down. This eraser does not work if you have straight from the bottle paint on the model. So uh, thinning your paints down has more than one benefits. So once you've kind of freehanded that stripe down the sides of the ship and up the front of the ship, it's time for the gray. Now I'm painting the gray up on the cockpit area as well as on one side um, of the fuselage where uh, a lot of the source material photos have that little side as gray as well uh, as opposed to orange. But you know, that's my personal preference on, on how I want to paint this. This is your model ultimately. You don't have to paint it exactly the way that I'm painting it here, but the point is to show you the techniques to do it and then from there you can do as you wish. Now, once the gray is on, we're going to take a little bit of black paint um, and clean up the windows and paint in the windows essentially. Um, I'm just painting them straight black because it, it looks really crisp up against the gray um, and up against kind of that weathered uh, dark black uh, exterior of the ship. So uh, it gives you that kind of glassy feel um, to the whole finish of the model. And uh, and that's it. That's the basic version. Um, I've got another video coming that will have more uh, details that I'm going to add onto the ship. Extra flourishes, artistic flourishes if you will, um, that kind of more accurately capture the theatrical kind of uh, view of this ship. But if you're looking for a great tabletop basic repaint, this is the one for you. Uh, four colors, five steps. I hoped you like it. If you do, please uh, hit the like button or thumbs up, I guess now. Uh, subscribe to my channel if you wanna see more. I've got a lot of war games that happen here. I play games, I talk about games, I rant about games, um, and, and I'm just really excited to get uh, going on X-Wing. So if you have any requests for other painting tutorials as well, leave them in a comment. As for now, let me know in the comment what your favorite X-Wing ship is. I'm starting to build my own uh, faction fleet uh, of sorts and I'm getting into the game for the new year. So uh, so give me your recommendations for, for the ships that I should be taking. Anyways, thanks for watching and I will see you soon.